What's up and welcome to my point of view. I am your fat and opinionated host and as most of you all already know by now, there is a lot of controversy surrounding Target because Target thought it was a good idea to allow a open Satanist to design kids clothing for their store. And of course, this clothing has a lot of weird messaging on it. It's part of their new pride campaign. And by the way, it seems as if being gay has gone out of style. So no longer do you see a lot of like rainbow clothing. Don't get me wrong. They still have that. But now they're focusing on trans clothing. And I don't even know what trans clothing is, but they do. And they design it for little kids. So if you want your baby to wear a shirt that says trans will always exist, you can go buy one at Target. And when you buy it, you can take comfort in knowing that a part of your proceeds are going straight to satanic temples all across America. <laughs> it's so wild, right? But they also introduced tuck-friendly swimwear. So your young teenage son can take his hot dog and beans and tuck it and pretend to be a little girl at the, um, you know, the pool party that he's going to attend this weekend. So yeah, things are getting weird at Target. Now, of course, this caused an uproar. Target said they were going to remove some of these items from their store and they were going to move the pride section to the back of the store where they usually keep their seasonal items. Now, some people may view that as a win. I don't view that as a win because this stuff should have never have even been sold at Target in the first place. But now the woke crowd, they're getting upset. They're saying it's terrorism when you don't shop at a store because they don't support your values are, are let's just say better yet, they push values that you don't support onto you and your loved ones. Now, one of the people freaking out is a washed up actress by the name of Rachel Levery. I honestly can't pronounce and don't even really remember her last name. You could try to correct me down in the comments below. I honestly don't care. I know that she was like some random person in one of the Twilight movies. Who cares who she is? Anyways, she recently went to Target and recorded a video of her having a mental breakdown, literally starting to cry because the pride clothing had been moved. She's literally crying because tuck-friendly bathing suits were removed from smack dab in the front of Target. Let's go ahead and watch this video, and then we'll be right back to laugh at her and make fun of it. So I just walked into Target, and the... Um Right behind me here where you see all these lovely swimsuits, that's where the pride display used to be. And I came in here two days ago and my seven-year-old who's non-binary saw it and said, look mom, it's pride, look, they're gonna celebrate me. And because some people complained and um, threw some stuff to the ground or I don't know what happened, they have moved to the pride section to the back of the store. So the next time my seven-year-old comes to Target, or rather, I can't bring them here anymore, at least for the entire month of June, because if they walk in, and all the other people who walk in and go, where'd it go, are gonna realize that they are being successful in trying to erase them. We could do so much better than this. We're not supposed to negotiate with the terrorists. We can do so much better than this. I'll take things that never happened for 500, Alex. <laughs> we have to start by acknowledging that her child never said any of this. That's obvious. I don't know what is wrong with these woke idiots, but they always do this. They always create these imaginary scenarios with kids and claim that kids are having these dialogues and these open discussions about things that we know kids don't even understand. They always do this as if we're stupid, but I like when they do this because then we can meme it. We can make fun of it. I could sit down and make this video right now and monetize her stupidity, which is what I'm doing and I plan on doing to more idiots in the future. Now, 
Let's also acknowledge the fact that if you are a parent and you have a seven-year-old non-binary child, then that means that you failed as a parent already. I'm not going to sit here and hold punches and, you know, try to baby anyone on this platform or on any other platform for that matter. So, yes, if you are a parent and you have a seven-year-old that is non-binary, you have failed at life and you have failed as a parent and you are setting up your child for a life of failure. There is no such thing as a non-binary kid. There's really no such thing as non-binary to begin with. And to think that a seven-year-old can even understand the concept of what non-binary is supposedly supposed to be is completely asinine. But I will say that, you know, I've seen this woman in a couple of different roles, and this one had to be the best acting job she has done yet. Sitting there about to cry because your kid may not be able to see tuck-friendly swimwear. And, and, and to even say, now when my kid walks into Target, they will know that the other side won. That the other side is trying to erase them. Your kid don't even know. <laughs> For one, your kid doesn't even know what gay is. And what being gay is. Your kid doesn't know what non-binary is. Your kid doesn't know what a boycott is. Your kid isn't going to grasp the con um grasp the concept that there is a culture war going on in America and that people like your kid's mother, you, are trying to groom kids and sexualize kids while others are trying to defend them. History will not shine brightly upon you. In fact, you will be remembered for this. You won't be remembered for your roles in the various movies and TV shows you have appeared in. Your legacy will be this video that you shot in Target. And I will make sure of it. And others will as well. Which is why everyone who is watching this video is going to share this video far and wide. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Instagram. You name it. We have to start publicly shaming these people. If you are bold enough to publicly, publicly support grooming kids, then you should be publicly shamed. I don't think we should be holding punches. These people aren't holding punches when they're coming after your kids. They're doing anything in their power to indoctrinate your kids and to expose your kids to all of this wild stuff. So we cannot be polite in our responses. We have to fight back. And when I say fight back, I don't mean physically. I think that we have to start, you know, we got to take the gloves off. We can't hold our punches. We can't be polite. I'm not saying we stoop down to their level because that's a level that I think most of us are incapable of stooping to. But we have to fight fire with fire here. If you want to make videos openly supporting kids getting body parts chopped off and all of this other stuff, then I will make videos openly mocking you and showing the world how stupid you are and putting a highlight on how idiotic you are and how downright evil you are for promoting this stuff in the first place. We all know that her seven-year-old has nothing to do with whatever the hell she has going on in that video. And knowing that so many of these actresses and actors in Hollywood are openly going out of their way to do anything they can to make sure that their child grows up not straight, that their child grows up as some type of furry, non-binary fucking they, them, or whatever the hell they bring up. I don't even know what titles they will create today. The reality is that, that by the time you get done watching this video, there will be 14 new genders and pronouns and all types of stuff that they will try to enforce on you and that they want you to abide by, okay? Reject it every step of the way. When these companies try to introduce this stuff, reject it, speak with your wallets. That's why Target is hurting right now. Their stock is plummeting, just like Bud Light and other companies will feel the same effects in the future if they keep trying to push this nonsense. But as far as this actress goes, like I said, I hope she enjoyed this role because this is what you will be remembered as. The lady who had a mental breakdown in Target because your seven-year-old couldn't see tuck-friendly swimwear when he walked through the door. 
Let me know your thoughts about this though down in the comments while you're down there. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and as always, remember to remain opinionated.